Financial Statement Analysis Series, where we are continuing our discussion on the calculation of financial ratios, and then using those ratios to determine a company's health and well-being compared with that of its industry. So in this particular part, we are going to be uh, looking at two ratios that measure um, profitability of a company. And the first one is the rate of return on net sales. So this is the percentage of each sales dollar that basically becomes net income. So after everything is paid, the expenses, the contra sales accounts are taken out, this is how much actually becomes net income. So to calculate the rate of return on net sales, we take net income and divide that by net sales. The second one we will look at is the rate of return on total assets. So how successful the business is at actually using the assets of the business to in, to in turn earn a profit. So this equation is going to be our net income plus interest expense divided by average total assets. So the way you can look at this is net income and interest expense are actually the return to our two types of financers. So net income would be the return to the owners of our business and interest expense would be the return to our creditors based on our assets. And to calculate average total assets in this equation, we will take our beginning assets plus our ending assets and dividing that sum by two. So let's use an example to calculate and discuss these two ratios. So here I'm giving you some data on Bonaparte. Here's a comparative income statement. Um, what I'd like for you to do is use this data to calculate the rate of return on net sales and the rate of return on total assets. So press pause on your player now, calculate those two ratios, and then we will discuss them. Okay, so hopefully you have now calculated the rate of return on net sales and the rate of return on total assets. So let's look at those. So we talked about how the rate of return on net sales, we need net income and net sales. So we're going to take our net income here of $16,000 and divide that by our net sales of $174,000. That will give us a rate of return on net sales of 9.2%. That means for every dollar of net sales, 9.2% or 9.2 cents on the dollar actually become net income. The next one I asked you to compute was the rate of return on total assets. For this equation, we need net income, interest expense, and our average total assets. So to calculate average total assets, we'll need beginning and ending assets. So I've highlighted them here in our data. So our numerator will be net income of $16,000 plus interest expense of $9,000. So again, just to, to, just to reiterate here, $16,000 would be the actual return to our owners and $9,000 would be the return to our creditors. So this is the return on our assets to our owners and creditors and we divide that by our average total assets. So we take our beginning assets of 191,000 here and ending of 204,000, add those together, and then divide that sum by two, we will get a rate of return on our total assets of 12.7%. So the return on our total assets to both our, our creditors and our owners is 12.7%. So please visit my website at web.me.com slash Brian Ruth for more accounting videos, um, accounting education tips, and educational documents.